you were raised a Southern Baptist, but you refer to yourself as a non-judgmental Christian. Yeah. Well, here you are in the middle of a show, GCB, Good Christian Bells. How's that working out for you? <laughs> what I love about the show is what I love about being a Christian, which is, you know, we have the, we can all be forgiven. We really can be. All we have to do is ask, if we screw up, just say, you know, Lord, forgive me, I messed up. But in this show, I will say, GCB sheds light on the humanity of Christianity, and I think it's funny. <laughs> what might seem vicious and nasty like witches, it's just saying howdy from Good Christian. Well, darling, we all hope you're here for good <laughs> and not for evil. <laughs> you know, I grew up where if you followed anything with Bless Your Heart, you could say, oh, that woman's outfit, bless her heart. It negates it. I think that's, there's a lot of humor. This could take place in a temple. This could take place yeah, exactly. in anything. So um, it's less about religion and more about how women treat each other. And, and what I love is Robert Harling, who wrote it, who wrote also Still Magnolias and as well as many other amazing movies. He writes women so well. And, you know, at the end of the day, these women, they've got each other's backs. They might not like it. Really? But they've, they've kind of got each other's back. I get to play the villain, which is real fun, um, because, of course, she prays for everybody, too. God bless their <laughs> hearts. <laughs> exactly. So I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that America enjoys it as much as I, I had shooting it. It's fun. So talking about GCB, faith, religion, you've been very vocal about standing up for gay rights over the years with Sean Hayes and Promises Promises, and you've got a huge gay following. One would think, oh, it's easy for her to take up for the homosexual community. That's who she works with. But as a Christian and as a woman, I think it's important for people who are in love with each other to be able to be married. And as a Christian person, our job is not to just tolerate, but accept and love people for who they are. That's what Jesus would do. So that's what I go by. You have an extraordinary career. You're an extraordinary woman. You have Emmys, Tonys, best-selling books. You're on your fourth album. Do you just sort of get to a point that the husband, the kids, all that has passed you by, or was it a conscious choice, or is it still in the making? You know, I thought by now I would be married with kids. I have been the runaway bride twice, once in my 20s and once oh. in my 30s. Oh. I have I think, worked through that. Um, I feel this way. I have a lot of kids in my life that I support and love and that I'm a godmother to and that I'm an aunt to. If it doesn't happen at this point, I'm okay with it. But I'm to the point now where I really would like to find that partner. And by partner, I mean my, 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 my mate, my equal. Um, I've dated some wonderful guys. I just hadn't met the right one. Well, you have a partner, but your partner is a little different. Your partner has four legs and is very, very hairy. <laughs> she has got quite a bit of hair. Um, Madeline Kahn Chenoweth, my baby. I, I adopted her right after Wicked. Pets have their own personalities. My mom had pet shops all my life. And she's really, Maddie has really taken on the role of activist now with Maddie's Corner. She didn't know that's what was going to happen to her. But yeah, I mean, I wanted to do something in her name because she's given me so much joy. When I did not marry the last time, um, I thought I needed somebody to take care of. So I got this dog. And one of the things I've learned is just how many dogs need spayed and neutered, how many need shots, cats, uh, all animals. And that's what Maddie's Corner does. We help um, animals who need adopted, who need their shots, who need surgery. And one of our specialties is um, matching up an animal with the right owner. So it's animals that. helping people helping animals. She goes over scripts with you. She goes over <laughs> scripts with me. She sometimes sits on the script so I can't read it because she wants attention. But she, ha she does make me happy. I love Maddie's Corner, your, your site. People can go in and it's not about giving hundreds of dollars. It's like you can give five dollars and have a little picture, a little memorial. We, get, we have sweatshirts we give away. Um, we also give um, money to, like, say there's a natural disaster like Katrina. Tons of animals were homeless. We, we will send money and um, people to help in those situations.